Welcome. Enjoy your visit to Washington. Thank you. Thank you very much. It is a request me that everyone maintain an atmosphere of silence and respect. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jay Bubb. I'm the commander of the military, Chapter 27 of the Military Order of the Purple Heart. We're here today at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in Arlington National Cemetery. And we had a wreath laying uh, from Chapter 27 to honor all our fallen comrades. Um, we're doing this for our entire chapter, and we wanted to do the video for those who were not able to attend. Uh, and I wanted the members of the Honor Guard to speak a little bit about uh, their background and uh, what got them in the Purple Hearts and what got them here, okay? Hello, my name is Ken Meany, and I am here today at the Arling National Cemetery, and uh, I'm with Chapter 27 of the Military of the Purple Heart in New Jersey. Uh, my background is, is that uh, I went into the service, and I ended up in Vietnam in January of 71. I served with the 23rd Infantry Division, AmeriCal, out of Chu Lai. I was in a number of uh, bases outside of Chu Lai, and uh, when my time was done, uh, many men went home. I didn't have enough time. I ended up going north to the 101st Airborne Division. I was wounded three times, once on the 7th of July, once on the 7th of August, and once on the 27th of August. Uh, and that's my story, and I have the Purple Heart, and I'm very proud of it. Although it is a medal that nobody wants, still, I'm very proud to have that. Thank you. My name is Ted Dima. I'm here with the rest of Chapter 27 of the Purple Heart for this uh, wreath-laying ceremony. It was a great honor to take part in that. My military history is I, I went into the Army in February of 1967, arrived in Vietnam in June of 67. I was wounded May 12, 1968, celebrating Mother's Day of all holidays, at a, uh, defending a special forces camp on the Laotian border at Cam Duck. Returned home in July of 68, and then spent the next six months at Fort Knox, Kentucky, and was discharged in January of 1969 and have been active with Chapter 27 for about the last four years, and I was a past commander two years ago. Thank you. Yes. Uh, okay, my name is Frank Simco. I'm from New Jersey. Uh, I was with the Big Red One during the war. I fought in the Battle of Bulge, or Hurtgut Forest, and, and every place else. And then we wound up in Czechoslovakia. I got wounded during the September 14th at uh, 
during the Siegfried line, attacking the Siegfried line, clean up hillboxes, and I don't know what else to say. I'm Edward Kopik. I'm from New Jersey. I'm from, also from Chapter 27, and I, the 80th Infantry Division, which we landed with the LSD on Omaha Beach, after three weeks in combat, I got the first piece of shrapnel in my elbow, and then I went back after a day or so, and I stayed there till, uh, I think it was December 10th, and I was wounded at Siegfried Line there. And I very well enjoy being here to see the boys later read on that tomb. And I can't say much more, so I thank you all very much. In conclusion, I just wanted to give a little bit of my background. I uh, listed in the Army in uh, uh, 1968 and went through uh, Officer Candidate School at Fort Benning, where I was commissioned in 1969. I received orders for Vietnam in, 19, in May of 1970, went through Ranger School, but washed out, and then had to go to Jungle School, went over to Vietnam in uh, July of 1970, was wounded on September 15, 1970, was medevaced out of the field, and uh, eventually went back to Fort Dix, New Jersey, where I finished out as a commander of the 5th uh, Company C, 5th Combat Support Training Brigade in Fort Dix, and left the service in September of, uh, and July of 71. Uh, I'm currently the commander of Chapter 27 of the Military Order of the Purple Heart, and we're doing this to honor all of our chapter members all those who have died from our chapter and all those who have died in all the wars of serving our country. Thank you. <laughs>